There is still much to prepare for the wedding. Hmm. Should we also invite some prominent business leaders who frequently visit Rito? Hmm. At the very least, we should send them invitations. I agree. Ah, hello there, Yashiro Commissioner. To what do we owe the honor on this fine day? As it happens, I'm here regarding the same wedding I believe I heard you discussing just now. I come bearing the felicitations of the Kamisato clan. Would Lady Hiragi happen to be available at this moment? Our lady is entertaining guests right now, and we're not entirely sure how long she will be. But please, do come in. We will arrange some tea and snacks for you and your attendants. You misunderstand. These two are dear friends. <laughs> You're too kind. We don't wish to impose. We'll just wander around in the general area. Apologies for the interruption while you're busy with preparations. Please, let us know once Lady Hiragi is available. Nonsense, Commissioner. No imposition at all. This wedding is a joyful occasion, and all the other clans who serve the Haragi clan are most delighted for them indeed. We're merely doing the best we can to make this wedding as grand an affair as possible. When the time comes, we'll invite everyone in the clan and even the general public to attend. That sounds splendid. We'll leave you to it. Take care, Commissioner! So you guys talked a lot without actually saying anything. Hence why I dislike small talk. Our timing was not ideal, but never mind. I spotted a stall on our way over where we can pass the time. The owner always manages to come up with novel ideas. <laughs> I'm one of his regular customers. Now, where were we again? Ah, yes. Invitations. My family can take charge of that. We have a lot of written correspondence with them already. Sounds sensible to me. Then, thank you. It's you! Good to see you again. Seems like you're always showing up with a VIP in tow. Oh? So you know the owner as well. Yep, we tried his dongle milk a while back with the almighty Shogun in Inazuma City! Ah, I see. So you were involved in that. I'd caught wind of this dongo milk, but I didn't know that it had anything to do with you two. <laughs> I always order one of his creative drinks whenever I pass the stall. The flavor is always new and interesting. When I noticed he'd set up shop in Rito, I simply had to come by. Oh, thanks to you all, my business is finally beginning to take off. More and more people are willing to give my creative cuisine a shot. It gave me the confidence to decide that I'm going to stick to creative cuisine from now on. On the one hand, wanted more people to be able to try out my culinary creations. On the other hand, I wanted my customers to experience the joy of being creative too. So I gave it a lot of thought and finally came up with an all new business concept. Sounds interesting. What is it this time? I've decided to give complete creative control to the customer. I offer all sorts of ingredients and they pick and choose whatever they want to mix with their milk or tea. As well as Dango, I now offer rice cake, purple potato balls, black sugar, and sunsetia. Do they really all go well with milk? Hmm, hard to imagine, but who knows? It could be delicious. What if I were to choose some ingredients you don't have here? Would that be okay? Uh, well, I, I guess so. Any novel ideas you have, Commissioner, please feel free to tell me. I'll go buy the ingredients right away. The whole idea was to let my customers express their creativity freely. So of course, I shouldn't place restrictions on the ingredients if I can help it. 
<laughs> Excellent. There are a few things I'd like to try. Lavender melon, seagrass, and sea ganoderma. Uh, what? You want to mix those with milk? I do indeed. Why? What's wrong? You really think that's gonna turn out tasting good? It's all about the experience. The taste is secondary. It's great to try new things. Traveler, any thoughts? Sure, huh? Well, all right then. Bring it on. Paimon can take it. Three milks with sea ganoderma, please. Ah, no problem. Give me a second. I'll have them ready in just a moment. Here, your milk is ready. Give it a try. I think it's all right. It has quite a fascinating texture. Your review seemed pretty positive, but Paimon still thinks there are better combinations. Taste is your key concern, yes? Obviously! Tasty food and drinks are some of life's most important pursuits! Well said. If I could say the same was true for me, I believe I'd be a very content man. Yes. No one has unlimited energy, and I try to conserve mine for the things that really count. To create some mental breathing room, I try not to overthink the less critical matters. Having my sister attend public events in my stead, and having Toma as housekeeper has also been a great help, and allowed me to focus. We're just passing the time here though, right? Is there anything else to think about than what we're doing right now? One or two things. Let's continue this discussion somewhere else. I noticed something before we left the Hiragi clan's residence. No, it was just a small detail. I was curious to know their thoughts on the wedding, so I asked them about it. Naturally, they responded that all other clans are happy for the Hiragi clan. But, that's not the truth. What do you mean? Hiragi Shinsuke is still in prison, meaning the Kanjo Commission is the least stable in the Tri-Commission. Hiragi Chisato is the sole remaining pillar of her clan, but now she plans to marry into the Kujo clan. If I belonged to one of the assisting clans to the Hiragis, I would not be feeling optimistic about the future. But they didn't mention a word about that. They simply said they were delighted for them. These are not unintelligent people. I highly doubt it is because they simply do not realize. I imagine they didn't want to discuss family issues in front of outsiders. But still, the more I think back over that conversation, the more it doesn't sit right. Keep a close eye on them, Hisashi. Yes, sir. This is one of my most trusted members of the Shumatsuban. He's been quietly watching out for us this whole time. Merely doing my duty, sir. Keep a close watch on the clan representatives we met today. Well received. I'm on the case. Oh, and I almost forgot. That milk I just had? Please order one more and deliver it to Toma. As you wish, sir. Oh no, poor Toma! Sir Kamisato, Lady Hiragi's previous engagement is now concluded. She's waiting for you in the courtyard. Thank you kindly. Let's go and see Hiragi Chisato. Thanks for coming. Hope to see you again. Maybe this whole creativity theme really will work out. Chisato? 
I heard that Sir Kamisato had brought some guests, but I didn't know it was you two. It's been a while, Lady Hiragi. How have you been faring? This is a rare privilege, Sir Kamisato. It is not often that I have the chance to meet you, let alone here in the comfort of my own home. I'm doing very well indeed, thank you. You must be so busy. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and congratulate Kamaji and I. It really means a lot. But of course. The Tri Commission are the servants of the Shogun, and we should look out for one another. In fact, we visited Sir Kujo just now. It's clear that he's very much looking forward to the wedding. Perhaps his joy is infectious, for I am now feeling rather elated myself. I sincerely wish you a joyful wedding and a blissful marriage. <sighs> Thank you for your kind words. <clears throat> this was not an easy decision to make. We will both have to work harder from now on. I'm sure the news will cause something of a stir. But come what may, we will stand as one and face whatever the future throws at us, together. Sounds like things are pretty tough for you, Chisato. Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm still a little nervous about it all. But Kamaji has been so supportive. His promises have comforted me a lot. It sounds like you have some considerable reservations, Lady Hiragi. Yes. Well, there are so many things I need to consider. In case you were wondering, I was not actually entertaining VIPs just now. I was in fact meeting with one of the Kanjo Commission's officers, Shinojo. Oh! Really? Him? Mm-hmm. He charged in all of a sudden and said that he had something very important to tell me. He didn't mince his words. Basically, he doesn't want me to marry Kamachi. He has always been a calm and contained person who never acts out of line. I was quite shocked to see him so agitated. But despite all that, what he was saying made a lot of sense. He thinks that now is a bad time for this wedding to happen. He pointed out that I am like the final pillar propping up my clan. If I marry into the Kujo clan, that pillar is taken away. There will no longer be a voice of authority in the Hiragi clan. And it could be a disastrous move for my personal image, too. It's just two families becoming one big family, though, right? What's the big deal? Traditionally, in Inazuma, clan affiliation influences every facet of life. After the wedding, Lady Hiragi will belong to the Kujo clan. The Kanjo Commission's attitude toward you may undergo some significant changes thereafter. Precisely. This is a terrible thing to be saying, but... I'm starting to have second thoughts. Maybe I went along with it all too easily. Maybe I allowed myself to be pushed into this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I'm making my guests listen to me complaining. No problem at all. The Ashiro Commission has a duty to listen to you. Now that I've heard your concerns, I should offer to help you as best I can. For instance, by helping you gather your thoughts on the matter. Now, we heard from Sir Kujo that his decision to tie the knot was prompted by a letter he received from you. But we've also heard that you did not write that letter. Sir Kujo thought that perhaps you were just being coy. Oh, dear. Perhaps I should have kept that part to myself. What? But that was... It was just a prop in his playful proposal, wasn't it? It was clearly purpose-designed, what with all the fancy lettering and so on. Fancy lettering, you say? So I am to understand that had it not been for this letter, you two may not have chosen this moment to be wed? When it comes down to it... Yes, I think so. Oh, do you mean to say that this letter is not what I thought it to be? Sir Kujo maintains that the letter was penned by your hand. Huh? But then... How did... 
Either way, it's wonderful to see how much you both trust one another. In that sense, you could say that the origin of the letter is ultimately not of great importance. Who knows? Perhaps Sir Cujo was the one being coy. After all, he had no particular reason to be forthcoming with us about the details of his playful proposal. <sighs> I understand. <laughs> As you say, ultimately, the origin of the letter doesn't matter. But my position does matter. <sighs> Kamaji and I thought that we needn't worry about anything that lies ahead, because we can face it all together. But now, I... <sighs> I think I should give it some more thought. Marriage is the most important decision of your life. Don't let yourself regret it. It is also part of the Yashiro Commission's job to help people through difficult times. I say this as an advocate for you personally, and for the Hiragi clan. Please, do not be compelled by circumstances to make any decision that goes against your will. To be together with the one you love is a sacred thing. It is my earnest wish that both of you may enjoy a bright and beautiful future, not a bittersweet one. I'll take to heart every word you have said to me. I can't thank you enough, Sir Kamisato. I'll think very carefully about your advice. All that matters is that you follow your heart. Since you'll be needing some time to think things over, we will excuse ourselves now. Oh, wait! Let me see you out. Thank you, Lady Hiragi, but there will be no need. Traveler, let's find somewhere to talk. What should I do? Oh, Kamaji. Hiraki Chisato is on a totally different page than Kujo Kamiti. Ayato, why did you give her such vague suggestions? Couldn't you just have told her what you'd do in her position? Cause Paimon's pretty sure you have an idea. I've said everything I can, given the Yashiro Commission's stance. Interfering too much with other Commission's domestic issues will only create trouble. The more I think about it, the stranger this all seems. But Hiragi Chisato has yet to see it. We must be vigilant. Strange? In what way? Someone wants Hiragi Chisato to be married as soon as possible, and if my guess is right, it is someone from within the Kanjo Commission. This person is presumably also responsible for the mysterious and misleading letter. Think about this. A lowly officer is greatly worried about Hiragi Chisato's future, while the heads of the supporting clans ostensibly have no concern at all. It doesn't add up. When someone's words and actions do not match, you need to infer their intentions from their behavior. Yes. It's a smart strategy. Far superior to the one adopted by the Tenryo Commission's Takatsukasa clan. Even had the forged letter failed and been seen for what it was, there would have been no repercussions. They could simply have explained it away as a misguided but well-meaning matchmaking attempt by a member of the family. But if the letter were to achieve its goal as it has so far, the perpetrator would successfully weaken the Hiragi clan without ever having to lift a finger against them, all under the guise of simply encouraging a wedding. With Hiragi Chisato having married into the Kujo clan and the head of the Hiragi clan in prison, challenges to the Hiragi clan's leadership would begin to emerge throughout the ranks of the Kanjo Commission. Eventually, another clan would take the Hiragi clan's place. Actually, we have evidence. His name is Shinojo. Shinojo? Hmm should be back by now. Yes, sir. Ah! That's the second time you've done that! 
Paimon cannot deal with this. Did they take one of the Kanjo Commission officers away? Yes. His name is Shinojo. As I expected. They cannot afford to let this opportunity pass them by. They have to act now while the Hiragi clan is at its weakest. Hiragi Chisato had been persuaded by Kujo Kamaji, and the wedding was sure to go ahead. But, after Chisato's meeting with Shinojo, she began to have second thoughts. In their eyes, Officer Shinojo has interfered with their plan. But why did they suspect him and not us? Someone was eavesdropping on our conversation with Chisato the entire time. That's why I was a little reserved. <gasps> no way! Whew. Lucky Paimon didn't say anything stupid! <sighs> but Chisato got what you meant about the letter though, right? I think so. But whoever is behind this will not allow their plan to fail now. They will not be inclined to respect Hiragi Chisato's own wishes. Her stance was so passive that she was easily manipulated. Treated like a pawn, with even her marriage becoming a battleground for political power play. Despite all of this, she still believed that a happy future was awaiting her. When she formally marries into the Kujo clan, she will lose her title as daughter of the Hiragi clan, her position in the Kanjo Commission, and above all, her independence. Huh. Marriage is such a trap. Easier said than done. The perpetrators are manipulating everything from the shadows, letting unsuspecting pawns do their work. This is what makes their approach so smart. We, meanwhile, are out in the open. If we attempt to stop this wedding from happening, we will become the villains of the story and face immense public backlash. Um, so what are we gonna do? At this stage, if the perpetrators wish to maintain control over the situation, their only option is to come out from the shadows and bear their fangs. I will wait for that moment to arrive. But first things first, we must go and rescue Shinojo. He has done nothing wrong and does not deserve to be punished. Tell me where Shinojo is. We'll head off right now. 